Hello students. So in this video segment we shall solve some extra problems from the previous question papers and also from the model paper given by the Karnataka State Education Examination Board and the extra problems which has been released by the DDPI Davangere to help the students who will be appearing for the current 10th standard. So let us begin. So here in arithmetic progression from the 2019 exam question paper there are four problems from 2020 exam question papers there are four and from the model paper released by the Karnataka State Examination Education Board 5 and additional problems which have been given in their paper there are eight so we shall solve all of them. So the first problem given the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 24 minus 3n. So we need to find the second term. So how do I find the second term? To find the second term a2. So this is the nth term meaning that 24 minus 3n is nothing but a n. So to find the second term I have to replace n by 2. So I have 24 minus 3 into 2 which gives me 24 minus 6 which is 18. So 18 is the right answer. The second one so this is a question from uh, March April 2019. The next one is also a question from March April 2019 which is a two mark problem. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series 2 plus 7 plus 10, 12 plus so on. So we know that the expression to find the sum Sn is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So let me write the expressions here. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now I need to find the sum of the first 20 terms. So therefore n equals 20. And what is the first term a which is 2. Now how do I find the common difference d? 7 minus 2 is 5 so the common difference d is 5. So let me substitute all the values here. So I get 20 by 2 into 2 into 2 plus 20 minus 1 into d which is 5. So that gives me 10. So I cancel both of them by 2 into 4 plus this is 19 into 5. So 19 into 5 is 95. So 95 plus 4 is 99. So 99 into 10 gives me 990. So this is the answer. So this is a two mark problem. So the next question which, which had appeared in June 2019. An is 5n plus 3. So the nth term is given by 5n plus 3. We need to find the third term which is a3. So to find the third term a3 I need to substitute n equal to 3. So therefore 5 into 3 plus 3. So this is 15 plus 3 which gives me 18. A very simple problem. The next one. Write the formula to find the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Where the first term is a and the last term is a n. Now to find the sum of an arithmetic progression we have this expression. But if the first term and the last term is given then we can find the expression that is the sum which is nothing but n by 2 into the first term plus the last term a n or sometimes a n is also referred to as l the last term is referred to as l so this is the expression here so the answer is s n equals n by 2 into a plus a n so this was a one mark problem Problem 5. Now if the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 2n plus 1, find the common difference. So I need to find d. So to find d, I need to find any two consecutive numbers, isn't it? So let me find the first term. How do I find a1? I substitute n equal to 1. So 2 into 1 plus 1, which gives me 3 and a2 substitute n equal to 2 I get 2 into 2 
plus 1 which gives me 5. So the common difference d is a2 minus a1 which gives me 5 minus 3 equals 2. So this is the answer. So this is a one mark problem which had appeared in June 2020. Find the sum of the arithmetic progression 5 plus 8 plus 11 up to 10 terms. So here I need to find n. n is of course 10 given. So a is the first term which is 5 and d is take the difference the second term minus the first term which gives me 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. So to find the sum up to 10 terms I use this expression. So n is 10. 10 by 2 into 2 into a is 5 plus n minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9 into d is 3. So here I can cancel. So I get 5. 5 into 10 plus 27. So I have 5 into 37. So the final answer what I get is 185. So this is a two mark problem. So the next one is a one mark problem which had appeared in September 2020. The nth term of an arithmetic progression is 3n minus 2. So this is the expression given. I need to find the ninth term. So I need to find a9. So put n equal to 9. So I get 3 into 9 minus 2, which is 27 minus 2, which gives me 25 as the answer. So this is a one mark problem. Next, eighth one, find the sum of 20 terms where the series is 5 plus 10 plus 15 and so on. So I need to find the sum up to 20 terms. So n is 20. And what is the first term a which is 5 what is the common difference d 10 minus 5 which is again 5 so i use this expression s 20 is n by 2 that is 20 by 2 into 2 into a is 5 plus n minus 1 n is 20 minus 1 is 19 into d d is 5. so here of course i am skipping a few steps so make sure that in the examination you write all the steps so 10 i get so 10 into 10 plus 19 into 5 is 95 so this is 10 into 105 which gives me 1050 so the sum of 20 terms is 1050 so this is a two mark problem right so now let us move on to a few questions from the model paper so these are some of the questions from the model paper. Find the 10th term which is a10 of the arithmetic progression 5, 9, 13 and so on. So I need to find a10. So how do I find a10? We know that a10 is a plus n minus 1, 10 minus 1 which is 9 into d. What is a? a is 5 and d is 9 minus 5 which is 4. So how do I get the 10th term a10 is 5 plus 9 into 4. So 9 4 is 36 plus 5 gives me 41. So 41 is the answer. So this is a one mark problem. If a n equals 4 n square minus 1. So the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 4 n square minus 1. We need to find the 8th term which is a8. So very simple to find a8 substitute n equal to 8. So I get 4 into 8 square minus 1. So that is 4 into 8 square is 64 minus 1. So 64 into 4 gives me 256 minus 1 which is 255. So 255 is the answer. So this is a one mark problem. Next 11th one. The arithmetic progression is 3 plus 1, minus 1, minus 3 and so on. We need to find the common difference d. So the common difference d is always say the second term minus first term or the third term minus the second term. You have to keep that in mind. So the second term is plus 1 and the first term is 3. So minus the first term 3 which gives me minus 2. Remember plus 1 minus 3 or the third term minus second term. What is the third term? Minus 1. The second term is 1. So minus 1 minus 1 gives me minus 2. So I get the same answer. So the common difference is minus 2.
Question 12. How many two-digit numbers are divisible by 3? So how many two-digit numbers? So I have to find out the number of two-digit numbers. So therefore I need to find n. So what is the first two-digit number which is divisible by 3? So we know that 3, 6, 9, 12. So 12 is the first two-digit number which is divisible by 3 and so on. And what is the last one? We know that it is 99. Very easy. So 99 by 3, you get 33. So 99 is divisible by 3. So I need to find how many terms are there. Alright. So therefore, we know that a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. Now in this series where all the numbers should be divisible by 3, what is the common difference See, after 12, I have 15 and then I have 18. So the difference is, of course, 3. 15 minus 12 is 3. So the common difference is 3. A is 12 because I need to start with 12. The first two-digit number, which is divisible by 3, is 12. So A is 12. And what is A in the last term is, again, 99. So let me substitute all the values. I need to find N. So A N is 99 equals a which is 12 plus n minus 1 into d is 3. So what do I get? So I have 12 plus 3n minus 3. So 12 minus 3 gives me 9 plus 3n. So 9 I take it to the other side. So I get 99 minus 9 is 90 equals 3n or n equals 90 by 3 which gives me 30. So how many numbers are there? There are So there are 30 numbers, 32 digit numbers which are divisible by 3. So n is 30 here. So moving on with the next one, the arithmetic progression is 3, 6, 9 and so on. Find a 15. So we know that to find a 15, a 15 is a plus n minus 1, 15 minus 1 is 14 into d. So what is a? a is 3 and d is 6 minus 3 which is again 3. Very simple. So I get 3 plus 14 into 3. Alright. So what do I get? So the final answer would be 3 plus 42 which gives me 45 is the answer. So next let us solve a few additional problems. And most of them are multiple choice questions, MCQs. So let us solve. So 14th one, a n equals 3 n minus 2. And we need to find a 4. So all the four options are visible on the screen. So to find a 4, I need to put 4 here. So I get a 4 is 3 into 4 minus 2, which is 12 minus 2, which gives me 10. So among all the four options, I find that C is the right option. So C which corresponds to the answer 10. Then the next one, A n equals 2 n square minus 2. So what is A 3? So to find A 3, I need to substitute n equal to 3. So I get 2 into 3 square minus 2. So this is nothing but 2 into 9 which is 18 minus 2, which gives me 16. So check all the four options. So 16 corresponds to the option D. So D is the right answer. So they are all one mark problem. 16, the common difference of 3, 1, minus 1, minus 3 is. So we have already seen that. We just did this problem. So the common difference D is, the say, the second term minus the first term which gives me 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. And minus 2 corresponds to the option B. So B happens to be the right answer. Then the next one, the sixth term of the arithmetic progression 2, 5, 8 is. So I need to find A6. So A6 is A plus N minus 1, 6 minus 1, which is 5 into D. So A is 2. And the common difference D is say 5 minus 2 which is 3. So I have A is 2 plus 5 into 3. 15 plus 2 is 17. 
So 17 corresponds to which option? It corresponds to the option C. 18th one. I have the arithmetic progression 2, 7, 12 and so on. I need to find A8. So what is A8? A8 is A plus N minus 1. That is 8 minus 1 which is 7 into D. Now what is A? A is 2. And what is D? D is 7 minus 2 which is 5. So I have 2 plus 7 into 5, which is 2 plus 35, which is 37. So 37 corresponds to the option C. So all easy uh, problems. So 19th one, I have a n equals 5 minus 2 n. What is a 3? So to find a 3, substitute n equal to 3. So I have 5 minus 2 into 3 which is 5 minus 6 gives me minus 1. So what is the right option? D is the right option. Then problem 20 I have 5 and then the next value is unknown. I have 13 and so on. So we need to find the missing number. Now since all the numbers are in arithmetic progression the common difference will be the same right. So they, let this number be x so second number minus first number will be equal to the third number which is 13 minus the second number. So now let me take x to this side I get 2x equals 13. I take 5 to RHs I get 13 plus 5 is 18. So x is 18 by 2 which is 9. So this missing number is 9. So what is the right option? D is the right option. Next 21. So this, this is an arithmetic progression. I need to find the nth term. So we know that a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So I need to find a n. n is not known so you will get a generalized expression. What is a? a is 4. What is d? d is say 2 minus 4 which gives me minus 2. So I will substitute the value so a is 4 plus n minus 1 into minus 2. So you get 4 n into minus 2 is minus 2 n minus 1 into minus 2 which gives me plus 2. So you get 6 minus 2 n. So 6 minus 2 n is the answer. So these are some of the additional problems which have been given and we also solved a few problems especially 1 and 2 mark problems given in the previous examinations 2019 and 2020 and also from the model paper which was released by the Karnataka State Examination Education Board. So make sure that you keep solving problems and also do check out the links given in the description where I've solved both the model question papers which have been released by the SSLC board for 2021 examinations. The links have been given in the description so do check out those two video links and make sure that you solve all the problems and wishing you all the best to all the students who would be appearing for the 10th examination. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.